Thank you. Good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Carlos? Hello. There is someone with the tr with troubles. Is it okay, the audio? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm so glad to be your teacher for this module. I hope you are excited too. So we are going to have some fun here. And um, well, let's start. Let's start uh, by taking the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. The first thing we are going to do every night will be to take the attendance, okay? Okay, I will start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. You gotta say present or here. Yeah. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Present. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. 
Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. I'm here. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, teacher. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Okay, Nancy, you are there. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay, welcome. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Okay. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Felix, uh, perdón. Felix Moises Blanco Araniva. He's present. Okay. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone. This is module Good evening, two. teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Anna, right? Anna. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, just let me take Thank the you. attendance here. Present teacher. Hello, Alejandra, right? Okay. Alejandra, good. Alejandra and Anna, right? Good. Okay, here we are. How are you tonight? Let's see. How are you, Javier? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And Great. You, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Hello, Karina. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. I'm great. Good, nice to hear that. Hello, Carla Veronica, how are you tonight? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine too, thank you for asking. Okay, guys, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to the module number two for beginners, okay? Bienvenidos sean todos a su segundo módulo, de los principiantes. Es un gusto para mí. Soy, voy a ser su maestra todo este módulo. Mi nombre, my name is Carmen Beteta. Carmen Beteta. And I'm really pleased to meet you all. Okay. I hope we could be a very good team. Okay. We're going to work as a team tonight. But first of all, we have to talk about some requirements from INSAFORP. Okay, vamos a hablar acerca de los requerimientos de INSAFORP. Yo creo que ustedes ya los conocen, pero es necesario que quedemos en acuerdo acá, ¿verdad? Así que permítanme compartirles la pantalla. Solo déjenme 
abrir nuevamente esto. Ok. Ok. Acá tenemos los requerimientos de INSAFOR para este curso. Este programa es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. Sus siglas son PNIT. Cuando ustedes escuchen, a veces le dicen PNIT, ¿verdad? Por más fácil, eh, ustedes pertenecen a este programa. Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. Ok, um, mi nombre es Carmen Beteta y vamos a estar a partir de hoy, creo que hasta junio 27 nos toca, ¿verdad? Déjenme ir a la siguiente para que veamos los requerimientos que eh, se espera de nosotros, ¿verdad? Uh, la primera cosa es que cuando nos conectamos a la plataforma de Zoom, tenemos que entrar con nuestro nombre completo. Quiere decir, tal como usted aparece en su DUI o tal como usted se inscribió. Dos nombres, dos apellidos y volvemos al asunto de casada o de divorciada. Bueno, ya ahora ya lo... Lo, do, lo dominamos un poco más socialmente eso, ¿verdad? Ay, yo hace mucho que me divorcié, pero ni modo, mi DUI dice de que estoy casada, pues entonces vamos a cambiar el DUI primero, ¿verdad? Entonces, mientras no tengamos eh, nuestro DUI de divorciada, oh, bueno, ahora ya no somos divorciadas, niñas, ahora somos solteras. ¿Ok? <ríe> sí, ahora lastimosamente los hombres también, ¿verdad? Cuando ponen divorciado ya no le ponen divorciado, le ponen soltero en el estado civil, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a continuar. En el caso de los que son oyentes, por favor agreguen al ingresar ahí en su nombre, pongan oyente, oyente, por favor. Siempre es necesario que tengamos la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Muchas veces muchos dicen, ay, pero es que muchos bits me consume y pues me traba un poco la, la computadora. Y bueno, hay que procurar cerrar todo lo que sea innecesario, ¿verdad? Cerrar la música, cerrar todo lo que opera en segundo plano para poder tener nuestra cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Y la siguiente cosa, pues, es que debemos minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, ¿verdad? Sabemos que muchas veces, pues, hay niños, hay eh, alrededor familiares, no vivimos solos, ¿verdad? Nos cuesta un poquito, pero hay que ponerlos en alerta. Hey, vamos a comenzar nuestra clase, así que por favor bajen su volumen a toda su familia, ¿verdad? Decirles, vamos a estar en clase. Hay que hacer los preparativos y los arreglos necesarios para que podamos tener un ambiente propicio para poder aprender. La participación de ustedes es sumamente importante. Entonces, cuando, por ejemplo, se les pregunta y ustedes abren su audio y uf, se oye todo el sonido ambiente a los demás estudiantes, pues les va a molestar un poco. Van a decir, ay, Ahí está Carlita, ahí está Alejandra, ¿verdad? Entonces van a, a molestarse un poquito y no queremos eso, ¿verdad? Queremos que todos estemos en armonía aquí. Luego vamos a ver la asistencia, sumamente importante, chicos. Debe ser al 100% de las clases. Acuérdense que este es un beneficio muy importante que nos está dando Isafor y nuestro compromiso firmado es que vamos a asistir a todas las clases, ¿verdad? 
todas las clases que duran 120 minutos cada clase, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que pensar en que empezamos a las 8, terminamos a las 10 y debemos contar con un tiempito para la asesoría al que le va a ir tocando la asesoría, ¿verdad? De uno a uno. Así que eh, hay que tomar eso en cuenta para poder llegar a su casa a tiempo para poder conectarse o al lugar donde usted se conecta, porque muchos no se conectan desde su casa, ¿verdad? Entonces, hacer la, lo posible de estar exactamente a las 8 o un poquito antes, ¿verdad? Para que tengan todo listo. A ver, la asistencia no solamente se toma el estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa como se cuenta por minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces usted, usted está conectado ahí solo 10 minutos, pues no se le toma, o sea, no se le toma completo, sino que eso le va sumando nada más a un porcentaje y al final usted le van a hacer falta esos minutos, ¿verdad? Así que tengamos eso en consideración. No se gasten ese 20% porque dice... Asistencia al 100%, ¿verdad? Pero nuestra nota la toman con un 80%. Pero ese 20% no se lo vayan a gastar, sí, porque sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, se toma la asistencia tres veces en la clase, a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9.45 para poder ir finalizando la clase exacto a las 10. Por favor, cuando yo tome la asistencia... Tienen que decir presente, ¿verdad? O present. Tiene que escucharse su voz audible y fuerte. Y también, pues, por favor, en ese momento debe tener su cámara encendida. El asunto es que se debe comprobar porque nos hacen auditorías, acuérdense. Entonces, ahí tiene que verse que es usted el beneficiario, el que está recibiendo la clase, ¿verdad? Por eso es que necesitamos que siempre tenga encendida su cámara. Mucho más en el momento de la, de la, que se toma la asistencia. Se toma válida la asistencia cuando escuchamos a la persona, al participante decir present o here, ¿verdad? Y obviamente tener su cámara encendida. Luego, tenemos un, unas sesiones, como les decía, de asesoría en donde usted me puede eh, preguntar lo que usted le haya quedado un poco confuso o algo que usted quiere saber o comprender mejor o practicar. Eh, es una sesión solo un estudiante y yo, ¿verdad? Solo un estudiante y el instructor. Y son 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase. Eso no quiere decir que yo le voy a estar diciendo, va niño, ya, ya estuvo, ya no me pregunte. No, no que al contrario, ¿verdad? Son 10 minutos para que podamos entender completamente el punto, pero yo no le voy a decir, hey, ya no me pregunte. ¿verdad? No, no se, no se preocupe, ¿verdad? Usted puede preguntarme lo que usted necesite saber en ese momento. Al finalizar, eh, cada clase nos vamos a quedar. ¿Verdad? En esos 10 minutos. Y pues es de carácter obligatorio que usted asista a su sesión asignada, ¿verdad? A su sesión asignada. No hay permisos disponibles, ahí sí lo siento mucho, yo no puedo decirle, ah, vaya, está bien, ok, se le fue el internet. Bueno, no importa, no, no le puedo decir eso. Al contrario, a mí pues también me auditan y yo tengo que que presentar que usted no estuvo lastimosamente. Entonces, eh, yo con todo gusto voy a, a poner mi, mi valoración de su esfuerzo, de que usted estuvo haciendo lo posible por, por conectarse, pero esto y esto pasó. Voy a dar la explicación, pero no quiere decir que eso es un permiso, ¿verdad? No, no tengo yo esa facultad. Aquí sí vamos a dejar las tareas y las evaluaciones. Esas están en su plataforma, en donde ustedes ya se les dio un acceso para que puedan eh, eh, hacer, accesar a sus uh, tareas y a las evaluaciones. La calificación que usted debe, debe obtener es el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. Quiere decir que como se evalúa en nota 100, ¿verdad?, 
entonces usted tiene que sacar por lo menos 80, ¿verdad? No 79.90 porque no pasa, ¿verdad? Necesita el 80%. ¿Qué sucede? Esa está dividida entre asistencia y lo que usted saca de la plataforma. Eso se toma en cuenta. Pero debe obtener el 80% en el promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para que usted complete el curso satisfactoriamente y sea promovido al siguiente nivel. Como les digo, ya están en la plataforma definidas las tareas una por cada clase, ¿verdad? Una por cada clase. Son cinco tareas por cada unidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que completar nuestras 20 tareas, ¿verdad? Tenemos que completar nuestras 20 tareas. Ahora bien, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes, porque a veces dice uno, bueno, pues sí, a las diez y media terminamos y que tengo que ir todavía a cenar por esto, por el otro, a planchar el uniforme, a hacer esto, esto y esto. Entonces, todavía se les da un poquito de gracia, ¿ok? No lo pudo hacer este día, pero usted el día viernes tiene que tener realizadas sus evaluaciones, porque el INSAFOR toma ese día, al finalizar ese día, toma las evaluaciones y ya las da por cerradas, ¿verdad? Entonces, necesitamos que cada viernes yo pueda presentar mi reporte y decir todos mis alumnos, todos mis participantes hicieron sus tareas y están acá, vamos bien. Eh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen intermedio, porque hay dos exámenes, está el examen después de dos secciones y está el examen final. El examen intermedio va a ser el lunes 26 de abril, la última fecha, ¿ok? Uh, perdón, no es 26 de abril. En este caso sería para mayo. Les voy a poner bien la fecha porque aquí está otra fecha, ¿verdad? La voy a corregir esta fecha, pero vamos a hacer exactamente las dos semanas de aquí para allá y yo les digo mañana la fecha, igual la fecha límite para terminar el examen final. El manual, todos tienen su manual, manual ya descargado o ya pudieron accesar a su manual en la, en la plataforma. ¿No han podido todavía accesar a su manual? ¿No? Bueno, yo les voy a mandar... No, ok, yo les voy a mandar el manual. En este mismo instante lo voy a enviar. Ok. Se los voy a enviar por el chat. Ok, ahí lo tienen ya. Ustedes pueden accesar a él. Ustedes lo pueden imprimir, lo pueden tener en el momento que ustedes quieran. Eh, lo pueden trabajar en la computadora como ustedes quieran hacerlo, ¿verdad? Eh, a, a cada uno se le hace fácil algún sistema, algún método. Entonces, gracias a Dios lo tenemos eh, digital, ¿verdad? Eh, no vamos a utilizar ningún material de terceros, o sea que vamos a estar oyendo música nosotros, ¿verdad? Y voy a abrir el audio y se va a oír la música y esto. No, porque nos pueden eh, sancionar de parte de YouTube, porque después de que esto finaliza, esto se sube a la plataforma de inglés corporativo, eh, al canal de YouTube. Entonces, por esa razón... No, tenemos que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? Por los copyright de todas las canciones o videos o cosas que vamos a pasar, ¿verdad? Así que no, pues para que no vengan a decir, ay, esta teacher, hombre, que no nos pone canciones para aprender inglés. No, sí vamos a aprender eh, listening, pero lo vamos a hacer de una manera diferente, no aquí en la videoconferencia, ¿ok? Aquí en la videoconferencia vamos a tener muchas actividades muy buenas para desarrollar listening también. 
Bueno, vamos a ver. La plataforma Zoom. Existe el botón de silencio, ¿verdad? Usted se pone ahí en el micrófono y le pone mute, ¿verdad? Lo cancela y ya aparece así rojito como les aparece a algunos ya, ¿verdad? La cámara pues siempre encendida. Eh, quiero ver, estamos todos con cámara encendida. Sí. Muy bien. Muy bien. Sí. Eh, el manual iba a pasar por WhatsApp. Sí, por el, 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 el del grupo. No, a mí no me ha llegado, no sé si a los demás compañeros. Por el, por el grupo de WhatsApp. Exacto, por WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Uh, quiero ver quién me preguntó porque no, no, como tengo esto en compartir. Me preguntó Edwin o me preguntó Carlos. No. Carlos Maldonado. Ok, Carlos, sí, lo mandé por el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, quizás Ahí. yo no estoy incluido, voy a mandar, eh, eh, también más, más adelante me incluye. Eh, para incluirse tiene que hacerlo usted, no podemos agregarlo. Eh, ahí okay. usted tiene que ir en el donde le mandaron los detalles del, de la inscripción y ahí aparece un link donde usted presiona e inmediatamente ahí le sigue usted la instrucción para eh, que lo agregue. Okay, gracias. Ok. Vamos a tener actividades, continuando, vamos a tener actividades que se llaman breakout rooms. Eso significa que vamos a separarnos en grupos pequeños dentro de la plataforma para poder hacer prácticas de conversación, de discusión y también de escritura o de lectura o de listening. Ahora bien, en el, cuando estén en, el, en su breakout room, dos cosas muy importantes. Estén seguros, estén seguros de haber entendido la indicación antes de que les dé ahí, eh, les mande la invitación para unirse a ca cada quien con su pareja y con, o con su grupo. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces entran al breakout room y no saben qué era lo que iban a hacer, ¿verdad? Se les olvidó o no comprendieron bien, entonces tenemos que tener muy clara la indicación. Esa es una. La otra cosa muy importante es que esos breakout rooms son para práctica, no son para descansar, ¿verdad? Y ay, estirarme un poco, ir a traer café, no. Son para practicar, ¿verdad? Son para practicar y vamos a utilizar el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo en la clase, no vamos a estar hablando español en lo más posible, ¿verdad? Uh, ahí tienen un botón, según entiendo, eh, para llamarme a mí. Normalmente yo me estoy metiendo en todas las salas, ¿verdad? Pero si alguien me pone ahí, me avisa de que eh, el grupo necesita colaboración en algo, ¿verdad? Entonces no tenga miedo de llamar a la teacher, ¿verdad? Bien. ¿Hasta ahí vamos bien o hay alguna pregunta? No questions. Una pregunta, Tucho. Dígame. Eh, ¿La fecha la va a dar posteriormente? Sí, el se las doy. examen intermedio. Sí, okay. se las doy mañana va. con todo gusto. Perdonen okay. que fue un detalle que se me pasó por alto. Ok, gracias. Ok. Bien. ¿Estamos listos ahora para cambiar a inglés? Sí, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. We're ready to speak English from now on. Okay. Yes, I want to hear you saying yes, teacher. Everybody. Yes, teacher. I can't hear you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Great. Yes, Excellent. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Good. Okay. The first thing that we have to see is what is this module about? What is this module about? Okay, this module is about describing activities. 
okay? Describing activities that I do every day or that I do in certain time or periods of time, okay? So let's read the objective for this module, the objective for this module. The general objective for module two is that you are going to develop competencies that will allow you to describe activities and events at your workplace, okay? At your workplace. How? Person to person or face to face, by phone or in a video call, for example, with other situations. Okay. With, uh, I'm sorry, with other people in work situations. You see people here speaking, right? The most important part here is speaking. So I want to hear you speaking, okay? We're going to practice speaking more than all, okay? Now. You need one for this module. You need one work related events. What do you think is that? What do you think is work related events? Do you have any idea what work related events mean? Do you have any idea what does work related event mean? What is an event? What is an event? <laughs> what? What is an event? Let's see, Ana Cristina. Can you tell me what does event mean? Mm, no entiendo eh, relat related no sé significa. related Esa. relacionado con mi trabajo eventos relacionados con mi trabajo yes that's in Spanish yes. good that's in Spanish okay. <laughs> but now thinking yes. in English thinking in English let's try to define what does what related events mean ah those are situations or actions. Hello, Maria Romero. Tell um, me. I, I think it's uh, describe uh, something situation about day in the workplace. Good. Things that you do during the day in your workplace. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. Let's see. Do you have any other idea, uh, Jonathan? Um, it's about describe event, uh, our daily. Good. Day that we do daily. Very good. Excellent. So now let's see, let's see, this is unit one topic. Okay. So today is May the 24th from uh, 2021, right? So let's continue. Let's continue. And let's think about, if we are going to talk about events in our workplace, what do we have to know? What do we have to know? Ah, let's see. And let's think about the specific objective for the whole unit one. Ah, we are going to, let's see. Um, Edwin, do you want to read specific objective, please? Mm. <clears throat> um, 
in my work and throughout. Just read um, it. Just read it. Describe. Mm -hmm. Describe. Oh. Read it. Read. So, Léalo. Okay. Describe your regular activities in the workplace and tell every day situation. Good. Thank you very much. So what is the general, I'm sorry, the specific objective for unit one? Describe regular activities. Regular activities. So it means time and actions. Time for one side and actions and the other side, okay? Now let's see, what are we going to learn today? What are we going to learn today? Let's see, our objective, let's see. Mm -hmm. It's a very long objective, but we have only one little thing in it. Let's see, Astrid, Astrid. Do you want to read the class objective, please? Puede leer, por favor, el objetivo de la clase? Do you want to read it? Um, participant will be able to express things that they do in their daily routine use as in their workplace and in their everyday life, using simple present statement. 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 Thank you very much. Statements. Okay. So it means that we are going to learn about simple present statements. This is what we're going to learn today. Yes, teacher, simple present statements, simple present statements. That's our topic for today. So you can remark that and we are going to learn simple present statements. What is that? What is that? Simple present statements. Let's go and see. First of all, I'm going to send this vocabulary that you are seeing right now in your screen. I'm going to send it because you are going to use it, use it from now on, okay? Okay, here we are. You have it on the chat now, the WhatsApp chat. When I say chat, remember is, uh, well, just for today, it's in WhatsApp, okay? What do you see in, the, in your screen? What do you see in your screen? What do you see, Omar, here? Omar Alfredo? We can't hear you, Omar. No, no lo podemos escuchar. Please activate your audio. Okay, sorry. 
Ah, uh, sorry. A uh, vocabulary. Yes, vocabulary. I... Vocabulary. Good. Um, I wake up. Uh huh. Good. I I get I get up. Uh, I leave home. I get to work. I have breakfast. I open the store. I turn on the computer. I turn on all the office. Um, I don't know. Appliances. Appliances. Okay, appliance. Yeah. Uh, and I turn off the air conditioner. Air conditioner. Okay, Con good. Um, I go to the warehouse. Okay. I check. I check my email. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very okay. much, Omar. If you welcome. see, here we have actions, right? We have actions. Things that we do, maybe every day, maybe on a certain day in the week, for example, on Mondays or maybe on Tuesdays, or maybe on Wednesdays, right? So these are actions, actions. What are the actions? They are verbs, okay? They are verbs. This is the way to say things that I do, things that you do, things that they do, things that we all do, okay? Let's see. And let's say them all, okay? I am going to say it first and then you repeat. Please activate your audio, okay? I wake up. I wake up. I wake up. Everybody, please activate your audio. I wake up. 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 Okay. I get up. 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 I leave home. I live I live home. I live home. I live home. I live home. It means that I that I go out right from my house. I live home. I live home. I get to work. I get to work. I get to work. I get to work. I, I get, get to work. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. breakfast. I open the store. I, I open the store. store. I open the store. I open the store. I, open the store. store. I turn on the computer. I, I turn, turn on, the computer. on the computer. I turn on the computer. I turn on the computer. I, I turn on the computer. I turn on all the office appliances. I, I turn, turn on, on the office, all office appliances. appliances. I turn on all the office appliances. I turn on all the office appliances. I turn on the air conditioner. I turn on the air conditioner. I go to the warehouse. I go, go to, to the, the warehouse. I check my email. I, I check, check my, my email. 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 I call clients. I, I call, call clients. clients. I, I write clients. reports. I, I write, write reports. reports. I write 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 reports. I
type reports, okay? Write reports and type reports, okay? I organize meetings. I organize, I organize, organize meetings. meetings. I organize meetings. I organize meetings. I attend a meeting. I attend a meeting. I attend a meeting. I visit clients. I visit clients. I visit clients. I visit clients. I assist customers. I assist, I assist customers. I assist customers. I check my boss's agenda. 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 My boss's agenda. I schedule appointments. I appointment. I answer the phone. I answer the phone. Answer. Answer the phone. Answer. Answer the phone. Yes, we don't say answer. We say answer. 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 Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Yes. Answer the phone. I issue invoices. I, I issue invoices. I issue invoices. I issue invoices. I make bank transfers. I make bank transfers. I make bank transfers. I make bank transfers. These are actions that you do in your job. This is just vocabulary, okay? This is just vocabulary. So let's go and see this. I'm going to ask, what are three first things you do on Mondays? Let's see. Nancy, can you give me your answer, please? We can't hear you. Monday. Um, serían como tres actividades, Bea. Yes, three activities, three things that you I do. Are you studying it? Are you studying English? Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And. Number two, uh, uh -huh. I work. I work in, in day. I go to work or I get to work. Yes. Okay, I go to work. Go to work. Yes. Okay. Um. Number three. I go home, teacher. Okay. Uh, now let's see. Three. First, first, this word, first, means primero, okay? Primero, so it means that you do, do, do three things. When you get up, for example, on Monday, you do three first things, okay? Let's think about that. Pensemos en las tres cosas que se hacen primero un día lunes, right? Every Monday, on Des Mondays. Despertar. Okay. I wake up early or late? Early. Do you wake up early on Mondays or do you wake up late on Mondays? Early? Early. Or early. late? I take early. Shower. Early, teacher. Early. In the morning. Okay. Good. I take a shower in the morning. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And three. Brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Okay. 
Those are good, right? Those are good. Now, let's think about three different things that you do on Mondays in your job, okay? The first thing that you do on Monday and your job and your workplace. On the computers? Turn on, okay, I'm going to write I, okay, to maintain this as a sentence. Lo voy a escribir con el pronombre para mantenerlo como una oración, okay? I okay. turn on the computer. Good. What else? I, I visit clients. Excellent. I visit clients on Mondays, right? Good. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I drink coffee. Oh, good. I drink coffee. Okay. This is very good. Excuse me? I call. You call clients? Okay, good. I check the report. I want to maintain this like this. Thank you very much. I check the report. Good, good, good. I check my boss agenda. Okay, good, good. I'm going to do it from here because it's kind of difficult to open another, insert another one. Let's see. Okay, let's take this to have another. Huh. There are a lot of ways to use this thing, right? Okay, let's see. You said, I check the reports. Good. What else I do you answer, check on Mondays? Mm -hmm. I answer the phone. I answer the phone. Good. Mm -hmm. I check email. Good. I check my email email good you see now we know that uh, there are things that we usually do on certain days of the week in this case we are talking about things that we usually do on mondays mondays right the first day of the week well the laboral week right because it's not the first day of the week there are kind of um, uh, different uh, opinions about what is the first day of the week. Which is the first day of the week? Can you tell me? Let's see this discussion. ¿Cuál es el primer día de la semana? Which is the first day of the week? Is it Monday? Do you Sunday. Think, do you think it is Sunday? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because the seventh day will be Saturday, right? So, yeah, the first day of the week is Sunday, right? There, is, there are different opinions, but yes, Sunday. Now, let's see. But our first day of a laboral week is, or a work week is Monday, right? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Now let's think. I'm going to give just this little explanation and then we are going to practice a conversation, okay? The first thing that we want to know is that we need to learn to say the things that we do, but we need to say the things that we don't do, okay? So we use affirmative and negative, okay? Affirmative and negative. Simple present is now, is today, okay? Today, 
or day after day. El presente simple es de las cosas que uno hace hoy. En este momento podría ser también. O las cosas que son usuales, que se hacen día tras día como un hábito, right? Like a habit. So let's think about what we have here. Number one, I get up early on Mondays. I get up early on Mondays. Let's see, Javier, can you read please the affirmative, the second one? I leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. Can you read it for me, please, for everyone? Um, the Monday 18th. Um... Read. Léame la segunda. Read the second. Okay. I leave home at 70 a.m. on Monday. Okay. I leave home again. Can you read it again, please? 70. Yeah. Seven. Seven a.m. Seven a.m. on Monday. Okay, good. I leave home at seven a.m. on Mondays. Good. Thank you very much, Javier. So now let's see. We use a little thing to help us, a word to help us. Okay, it's a verb, it's a helping verb because it helps us to say no. Okay. And let's read it. Let's read it in the negative way. Let's see, Felix, can you read the negative, please? Puede leer las negativas? Yes. Okay. I don't get up early on Monday. Thank you. Next one. <clears throat> I don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Monday. Okay, it means that we are saying no. We use don't. I'm going to do some annotations here, okay? And let's see. Don't, it equals, it equals to say do not, okay? Do not. So for example, in the first negative, we could say, I do not get up early on Mondays, okay? I do not get up early on Mondays, but we want to speak a little fluent or more fluent, so we use contractions. And we use, I don't get up early on month, okay? Good. Remember always after a sentence, at the end of a sentence, add a period. Okay, if you see, we are saying the same, the same thing. ¿Pero qué es lo que hacemos? Ah, utilizamos contracción para escucharnos un poco más fluidos, ¿ok? Más fashion. Yes, more fashion. <laughs> Fashionable, yeah. That is why for everybody say AKT, right? <laughs> so I don't get up early. Don't. We use contractions. What's this contraction is do not, ¿ok? Do not. It means no. Okay. It means no. So I don't get up early on Mondays. I don't get up early on Mondays. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could say I don't get up early on Sundays, right? On Sundays because it's your day off, right? It's your day off. Uh, mm, most of people could say on Sunday instead of Monday, right? Or on Saturday, yeah? For example, let's see. Do you get up early every day? Do you get up early every day? Everybody, please, answers. Do you get up early every day? Yes. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, okay. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Congratulations, it's good. That's good because you are like an early bird, right? Or early bird. Okay. Let's continue with this. Do you have questions? Do you have questions about this? No questions? No okay, question. just let me explain this. Just let me explain this. You can use this form of the verb with you, we, or they. For example, I could say, you get up early every day, okay? Um, I could say also, we get up early every day or we get up early on Mondays. This form of the verb of the simple present, we can use it only with I, you, we, they. What, is, what pronouns are missing here? What pronouns are missing? ¿Cuáles pronombres faltan? He, she, it. Correct. He, she, it have a different way to use the simple present. So we are going to see that later. At the moment, you see, we use don't with I, you, we, they. For example, I could say, we don't get up early on Mondays. They don't get up early on Mondays, right? Or we don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays, okay? Now, let's see. And you are going to, I'm sorry. You are going to use, I'm sorry, to complete these sentences. You are going to complete these sentences. Let's see. What verb is missing? Thank you very much, Felix. Excellent. Now let's see, next one, Maria. Um, we, we go home at 7 a.m. on Monday. Okay, we could just go, uh, but according to the examples before, we say um, leave. Okay. We live. Live. We live. Live. Yes. Go home means that you are yeah. leaving a place and go into your house. Okay. So we leave home at seven a.m. on Mondays. Excellent. Now, in the negative way, in the negative way, let's see. Someone, please. You done. You done. Excellent. Don't. Uh huh. Get up. Excellent. Next one. They don't need living. They don't live. Live, live, live. at home. Live, live, home. live home. Live home. Excellent. They don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. Okay. There you are. Now, you understand now that huh? we use don't with I, you, we, and they. Okay? Okay. Excellent. <coughs> I'm going to ask this question for you tonight. Do you check your email every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Let's see. Who doesn't? Everybody here, right? Everybody here check your email every day. Okay, good. Do you see the answer here? Do you see the answer here is a short answer. Short answer. Short answer. It means that you don't repeat the complete sentence to give an answer. You just say, yes, I do. But if you don't, then you, then you say, no, I don't, okay? No, I 
don't. Now, let's continue because we are studying the present simple or the simple present. You are going to find this in books like simple present or present simple and it is the same, okay? Now we are going to learn something very interesting here because in the present simple for he, she, and it, we add a letter S to the verb, okay? We add a letter S to the verb. So in this case, for example, she writes letters. She writes, with the letter S at the end, letters, okay? He checks his email. He checks his email. She checks her email. She checks her email. Okay, what are we doing here? We are adding a letter S. Do you see the letter S? That's very important. If you forget letter S, is a mistake. It's wrong. Not using the letter S for he or she. Okay. Third person means that you are going to add a letter S to the verb. Okay. Now let's, let's think here. For example, she, the verb plus letter S and the complement, okay? She, mm -hmm, letters. Can you tell me what is missing here? Right. Thanks. Good, that's the very, that's the correct pronunciation, rights writes okay it means that it has to take letter s at the end okay now let's see next one check right report excellent checks reports and the last one she checks in. Oh yeah, checks. Thank you checks. very much. Checks. Uh-huh. She checks he makes. Checks. Let's use another verb. Let's Char try. Let's organize. try. Organize. Organize. Char organize. Char email. Okay, organize. Uh, I have a problem with my letter C in my keyboard. Tengo un problema con la letra Z en mi teclado. A veces se me traba. Permítanme. Ponga cualquiera. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like this. No. <laughs> Let's see. Organizes. Z's. I don't know why is this happening. I'm sorry, guys. Answers. Email. Ah, that's a very good verb. That's a very good verb. Answer. When you answer an email, you don't answer. You reply. Okay. You reply emails. So we could say that. Uh, the other one was reads, right? She reads. She sends. Excellent. Sends. You see? We use letter S at the end. Letter S at the end. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And let's go to see this other example. Okay. And other think, example. Yes, these are other examples. He reads. Mm -hmm. He reads letters. Excellent. Let's see, another example. What do we do with reports? He, he checks. He writes checks. Okay, checks and writes. Okay, write reports. And then what about the emails? 
I check. Checks. Okay. There you are. You see, remember always letter S and the verb. Okay. Letter S in the verb. Do you see? He reads letters. He Teacher. writes reports. Excuse me. Teacher, uh, uh, I can. Uh, he he sent email. He sends yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Thank you, say teacher. Thank you. Sends. I'm going to add it here. Yes, you can use sends. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now let's see. Let's put together the whole sentence and it will be, he reads letters. He writes reports. He sends emails, okay? Please, everybody activate your audio and I want to hear you. And when you say the verb, please pronounce letter S at the end. I want to hear you, everyone. Let's start now, one, two, and three. He reads letters. Okay, everybody, everybody. He Todos writes reports. He reads letters. He reads letters. He, he, read letters. he checks emails. He writes He checks, he writes writes reports. Reports. He checks. He checks emails. emails. Okay, good. Now, what if it is negative in this case? What if it is negative in this case? He doesn't read letters. Excellent. We use we use the helping the verb here. Mm -hmm. He doesn't write report. Okay, and we use does not. Okay, that mm -hmm. it equals to doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. Does not. So it is he doesn't uh -huh. read letters. Aha, uh -huh. this is the important thing here. Okay, this is the important here because, because the verb takes the infinitive form, okay? El verbo ya no lleva la letra S. It doesn't take letter S. Why? Because we are using doesn't, okay? We are using doesn't, so we don't add letter S. And we say, he doesn't read. Read, not reads. We say read letters. He doesn't read letters. Let's think about the other one. He Right, he doesn't, I'm sorry, he doesn't write reports, okay? He doesn't write, we don't say writes, we say he doesn't write reports, okay? Questions here? Do you have questions? Anyone? No questions. No questions. Okay. Good. Let's go and continue with this. We're going to go to the menu. Okay. To the menu. Let me place this correctly because. This moves. Okay, there we are. I think we could see it. Sí se mira bien, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
And let's go to page number nine. Page number nine. Page number nine. We're going to read this conversation and then we are going to practice with a partner. Uh, I forgot, sorry. Uh, voy a dejar de compartir y voy a tomar la asistencia. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I don't have to forget this. No tengo que olvidarme de eso. Please help me with that. Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. Okay, welcome. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Giovanni. Carlos Eduardo. Ok, thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, you had trouble, right, with the connection. Uh, Karina Noemia Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. Luis Roberto. No. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo, you said present? Yes. Present, yes. Okay, thank you. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. No, okay. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. ¿Es Vivas o es Vivas? Vivas. Okay. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. Okay, thank you. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present teacher. Okay. Now let's continue. Let me take this down. And this. Okay, let's retake the topic. Let's retake the topic. What are we studying? Someone can tell me. What are we studying? ¿Qué estamos estudiando? What are we studying? What were we saying? Regular activities. Regular activities. Good. Giovanni. Giovanni is having troubles. Okay. Regular activities, aha, uh -huh. but things that we did last week, 
know, right? Things that we do today, right? I see that Giovanni is having troubles with the connectivity. Don't worry, Giovanni, if you can't hear us here hear as well, then you can um, uh, ask by the chat, okay? Through the chat, you can ask. And also, if, I, if you hear the question, si tu oyes la, la pregunta, then you can answer through the chat, okay? There you go. Okay. Es que no estaba cuando pasó listo. Who? Se me conectó. Who wasn't? Who wasn't present? Who wasn't present when? Um, who wasn't present when I took the attendance? No, everyone, right? Okay. So I'm going to say an activity. Then uh, do you see here I have Carlos Eduardo, then Ana Cristina, then Edwin Eliseo, then Nancy Tovar are going to say one activity, okay? I get up early on Mondays. Carlos Eduardo. One action. Um, I get up early. Okay, Carlos Eduardo, you get up early on what day of the day, of the week? Excuse me, my internet is funny. Oh. Uh, I get up early on Monday. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Now, Ana Cristina, any action? I get up to work. I get to work. I get to work. To work. We don't say get up. Work. Get to okay. work. Okay, get to work. Good. Edwin? Vean su vocabulario. Ahí tienen un montón de actividades que pueden responder en este momento. Everyone saying one activity. Edwin. Hola. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I have breakfast. Good. Very good, Edwin. Nancy? Uh, I have a breakfast. Okay, good. You have breakfast too. Excellent. Felix? Yeah, shower, darling. You take a shower. I take a shower, Emily. <laughs> you better do. <laughs> okay, Javier, one activity. Um, check my check my computer. Okay, you check your computer. Excellent, Wendy. Yeah. I check my emails. Very good. Juan Carlos. Uh, I leave home at 6 a.m. A.m. Okay, good. Very good, Juan Carlos. Now, let's see, Maria, please. One activity. 
Um, I get to work at 7 a.m. to Monday from Friday. Okay, from Monday to From Monday to, to Friday, yes. Excellent. Let's see, Astrid. A great report. Excellent. Kevin. Um, I eat breakfast early. Okay, good. That's a very good verb because we could say I have breakfast, but we can also say I eat breakfast and it is correct. Okay, it is correct. I have breakfast or I eat breakfast. Okay. Oh my God. This is what I was saying at the beginning. Please take care about that. Uh, we don't have to have problems with the copyrights, okay? We don't have the copyrights for that music. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Carla, one activity. Carla Veronica. Um, the answer the phone. Good, you answer the phone, excellent. Giovanni. I take You take breakfast. Okay, you could say also I take breakfast. Yeah, we could use that verb too. Okay, but it's better if we, if we say I have or I eat. Okay, let's see, Omar. Omar, are you there? Omar. Oh, yes, I can see you, okay. Omar. <laughs> oh, okay, <sure. laughs> uh, okay uh, I, I read my motorcycle uh, uh, to work. Okay, I ride. I, I ride. ride. Okay. Okay. okay, very good, Omar. Raquel. Okay. Uh, on Monday, I check my boss agenda excellent very good um vladimir um take a shower and then how breakfast good karina i brush my teeth every day very good very you should do three times a day yeah very good <laughs> ana del carmen I visit late uh, on Monday, uh, every day. You visit clients every day? In okay. place. In oh, work. okay, okay. Jonathan? I drive to my work. Okay, very good. Do you do it every day? Yeah, every day. Okay, very good. Alejandra? I organize meetings. Very good. That's a very good activity. Now let's see. Um, I think we finished with everyone. Now let's go to our manual. Let's go to our manual because it's very important for us to practice the conversation, okay? We're going to practice this conversation. Just let me share the screen for you. Even though I know that you have it, but let's, let's, um, okay. Let's read it together, okay? Let's read it together. And here we are. I'm going to read this conversation between Sofia and Mario, and then you are going to repeat after me, and then we are going to go to the breakout rooms for practicing, okay? And then you are going to answer the comprehension activity that it is um, below it. So let's see. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. Check it once or twice a day. Great, it's very important. Now, 
Let's read it again. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, now let's read it together. I read first, then you repeat after me. Okay, activate your audio, please. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every morning? Monday morning. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Monday morning. Every Monday morning. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? Every Monday morning. I check my email. And I call clients. My email. My email. My email. My email. Very good. You did it without my reading first. Very good. You did it good. So let's do it again. I check my email. I check my email. And I call clients for the rest of the morning. And I and call, I call the the for the rest of the morning. 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 What about you? 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 I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I have to, I have to read my report and organize meetings. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. I have to organize, organize meetings every two Mondays. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. I also organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every day? Do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Check your mail. Check yes, I, yes I do actually. Yes, yes. I, I do actually. actually. I say once or twice a day. I check it, I check it once or twice a day. I check, I check it, it once, once or twice, twice a day. day. Great. 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 It is very important. It's very, very, very important. 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 Yeah, we don't say important. We say important. Okay. Important. 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 And usually the letter T doesn't sound like important. 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 Okay. Now, everybody. Let's see, uh, does anyone have a question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Questions about the vocabulary in the conversation? Teacher, uh, is weekly, weekly report? Good, weekly, weekly is the report that you do only one time in the week, okay? Every week, you do that report every yeah. week. Cada semana, right? Semanal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Another question? Do you have any other question? Questions? 
Okay, I'm going to ask, what does once and twice mean? Uno o dos veces. Okay, let's try to say this in English. Okay, one, one or two times. Excellent, one time or two, or two times. times. Yes, so it means that once, once is only one time, okay? And twice is two times, two times during a day, right? So once a day, it means that, have you seen those capsules that have um, that indication? And it says once a day. It means that you are going to take one capsule, only one capsule during a day or each day, correct? Questions? Teacher, uh -huh. uh, pronunciation uh, or, or twice? Twice. No. Twice. Once. Twice. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. As if you were saying two eyes, right? Like twice. Okay, now let's read these two questions. Because now uh, at this moment, we are going to go to the breakout room and you are going to practice the conversation and also you are going to do the pair work, okay? What does the instruction say? It says, discuss the answers to the questions below. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Discuss the answers to the questions below. It means that you are going to talk about these two questions. What is the question number one? It says, what activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? And number two, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? And you are going to ask why to your partner, okay? Entendido chicos, understood? What are we going to do? Practice the conversation. And then <laughs> someone is writing in the screen, on the screen. Hey, come on. <laughs> and it's very good because I'm going to, uh, I am going to use that tool later. Vamos a usar esa herramienta luego, okay? After after the discussion, después de la discusión. Any question? Alguna pregunta? No questions. No questions. What are we going to do now? We Let's practice see. the conversation and discuss the answers. Okay, excellent. I'm going to break this room into rooms. Let's see. Okay, there you are.
teacher. Yes, Giovanni, I, I see that you are alone here, right? Hello, Giovanni. Hello, teacher. Este, no, no me puso pareja, teacher. Yeah, this is what I am trying to um, fix. Okay. Let's see. One moment here. Ana del Carmen is the one who is uh, right here. Okay, I'm going to move. Teacher, is the, mm -hmm. you can send the manual again. Yeah. yeah. Just give me one second because Anna is trying to access to this room too. One is in seven. One moment, Joe. <laughs> Hello, Hello Maria. You are long here, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, one second. Uh, can practice with you? Yes, but just give me one second because there is another. Uh, Giovanni is okay. alone too. Just give me one moment. Uh, okay. I'll okay. Check. Giovanni, I can find Giovanni here. Giovanni, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. What number is this room? Giovanni has another one here. One, one second, Maria, please. María, ¿qué número de sala era esta? Uh, ahorita 11, la anterior era 10. Ok, entonces, then I'm going to send Ana over here. Oh. No, uh, what I'm going to do is to return everyone, ok? Okay.
Hello? Hello, Felix. Can we practice? No, one second, please, porque okay. hice, hice algo mal y uh, estoy reiniciando todo esto para poder okay. reasignarlos. Okay, there you are. I think it's going to be okay now. Two for each. Okay, there you are. Omar? Yes, teacher. Uh, um, didn't you receive the invitation? Uh, no, teacher. Um, Let's see. I can, I can. Uh -huh. Okay. Omar? Uh, no, teacher. Uh... You are the only one that it didn't, didn't receive the invitation. Let's see. I'm going to move. Um, I'm going to send you to the room number one, but then I'm going to move you back to, to the Room number four, okay? Did you receive it? 
¿Lo, ¿Lo recibió Omar? ¿Omar? ¿Félix? Hello. What happened? Mm, ya. Yeah. You finished? You finished. Okay. You were working with Alejandra? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi, Alejandra. How are you? How was the practice? Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you uh, have any well, questions? Um, empezamos con la conversación, teacher. Okay, conversation. Mm -hmm. Conversations. Okay. And Sophie, what do you do every Monday morning? Mm -hmm. uh, ¿La termino todo? Sí. Uh, it's not about you. It's about Sofia and Mario, right? Yes. It's about Sofia and Mario. So did you write the activities that Mario and Sofia do every Monday? Oh, I check my email, um, Mario uh, and Carl Clint, Clint. Okay, then he and Sophie uh, sería read a weekly report and attend a meeting, organize meetings, meetings. Okay, remember that you were talking about two different uh, people. In this case, you are talking about Mario and you are talking about Sofia, right? So you yes. have to say, he... He checks my... Exactly. And she... This and this and that. Remember to use the letter S in the verbs when you are talking about the third person, okay? Okay, okay. okay Thank teacher. you, teacher. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's see. What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? They chat emails. Okay, if we say this in plural, it's okay if you say they, right? If you say yeah. they, but they have different activities in the conversation, right? So in this case, you will have to say, for example, Mario is he, correct? Mario yeah. checks, mm -hmm. what? Maze. His, his, because it says my, right? So his Maze. email. You can write it like this or like this or to get okay it doesn't matter the um the spelling of email so let's see mario checks his email and call client. okay what calls right remember calls because it's client. third person um, calls calls clients okay what about um what about Sophia? Sophia. Sophia read a weekly report and attend a meeting. Let's remember the third person. Reads. She reads. reads. Okay. Reads. reads a weekly report. Mm -hmm. A weekly report. 
And what else? Attends a meeting. And attends a meeting. Mm -hmm. Organize. What else? She also uh -huh, has to organize meeting. Okay. In this case, we are using has to, but well, vamos a ponerlo directamente con el verbo para no confundirlos con esa otra forma. Okay. Have to es una obligación. It's an obligation. So in this case, we are going to say she also organizes. Okay, ah, uh, letter Z, letter Z. Imagine letter C over there, okay? Organizes um, meetings. Every two Mondays. Ah, remember that the days of the week are spelled with a capital letter at the beginning. Capital letter at the beginning. Remember this. Siempre letra mayúscula en los días de semana, okay? De la semana. Capital letter. Every two Mondays. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. If you see Mario, da, 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 da. Sofia, da, 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 da. Now, if we say this in plural, then we use they, but these are different activities. Imagine the activities were the same, then we could say they, okay? But here we are separating because they do a different thing. So we have to say the answers separated, okay? Now, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? You... Yes, I do. Okay, why? Uh, the information that is shared important to do my work. Um... Okay, okay. There is where uh, they communicate, right? The, yeah, in, the, um, mm -hmm, the instructions or the agenda for the week, or maybe there you have uh, the communication with the clients. You do reports, the sales, whatever you want to do, like promotion or everything that you do through an email. Okay, good. So at this moment, uh, we have learned about the regular activities that we do in a certain day of the week. Do you have any question about this? No. No questions? No, no questions. Okay, then I think we're going to dismiss the class, but just let me teacher, do something teacher, first. One question. Yes, tell me. Teacher, uh, uh, if I say uh, uh, she, she also has that organizer meeting? Yes, you could say uh, she also, or uh, I'm sorry, she also has to organize. Yes, you could say this. Okay, thank you. Has to, but in this case, you don't add letter S at the end of organize, okay? You say she also has to organize, okay? Uh, or, yeah, nice, letter C again, okay? Imagine letter C over there. Yes, but we don't add letter S. S, mm -mm. okay? Got it? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. What did we learn today? Yeah. What did you learn today? The person simple. Yes. Good. Uh huh. Affirmative and negative. 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 Yeah. Things that we do in our workplace and activities that we do regularly in our routine, right? Now, do you have any question about this? 
No? Okay. Now let me check, please. Voy a cambiar a español nuevamente y vamos a verificar las fechas, chicos. Las fechas para cada uno de las uh, sesiones uno a uno. Por favor, tomen nota. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez, el lunes 24 de mayo. So today, right? Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera, tomorrow. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera, 25. Okay. And, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores, el 26 de mayo. Kevin Antonio Ramírez, el 27 de mayo. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez, May the 28th, 28 de mayo. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez, el 31. Alexis Antonio, martes 1 de junio. Jonathan Ernesto, el miércoles 2 de junio. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso, el 3, ¿verdad? 3 de junio. Luis Roberto Mejía, viernes 4. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba, el lunes 7. Alejandra Vanessa, el 8 de junio. Ana del Carmen, le tocará el 9 de junio. Uh, Karina Noemí, el 10 de junio. Carla Verónica Suria López, el 11 de junio. Omar Alfredo, el 14 de junio. Astrid, el 15 de junio. Astrid Tatiana. José Atilio, le tocará el 16 de junio. María Elena Romero de Galvez, el viernes 18 de junio. Wendy Xiomara Núñez, el 21 de junio. Y ahí finalizamos. Ahí sure. finalizamos. Sure. Sí, compañero. Me lo mencionó. Um, a mí tampoco. Ok. Y a las, mí tampoco, teacher. Estas sesiones privadas son para los que están debidamente inscritos. Los oyentes por el momento no tengo una, una programación. Okay. Creo que no soy oyente, creo yo. Estoy inscrito. Ah, Yo soy bueno. inscrito también. Ok, solo hacía la aclaración, solo hacía ah, la okay. aclaración. Por alguna razón no los mencioné, vamos a ver, lo voy a volver Matri a revisar. Matriculense, hombre. <risa> paguen, paguen, paguen. No, paguen, it's bichos. not that, it's not that. No, no es cuestión Ay, del wow. dinero porque igual, igual. No, lo... bro, teacher. <risa> bro, teacher. Es gratis, es gratis. Molestamos. <risa> ok, pero molesten en inglés. <risa> sorry, sorry. <risa> Sorry, I don't speak English. Uh, yes, you so, do. So, yes, you sorry, do. children. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I, I've got twenty here. Uh, who said he wasn't? Who wasn't? It was Edwin. Hello? Edwin Antonio? No. Edwin Eliseo. Edwin Eliseo. I don't see you here either. either. No mencionaba de último, de pasar lista éramos los últimos. Entonces. Los cuatro. Uh, ok. Bueno, voy a verificarlo porque según los tengo, tengo exacto la agenda con los 20. Ok, y no veo a Edwin Eliseo. Ok, entonces voy a verificar mi Javi, mi Javier, bien. Teacher. Okay. Ni Félix. Quizás nos equivocamos de grupo. No, no. Okay. <laughs> no, because you say present when I, take, when I took the attendance, right? Mm -hmm. You said present, so I've got you in the, in the attendance list. So you should be over there if you are enrolled in the in the in the course now let's see yeah just let me check and i'm going to talk to administration to do the arrangements about this thing and then i'll i'll let you know okay i will let you know tomorrow but the moment this is the agenda that i've got if it has some modifications then i will let you know tomorrow okay and today yeah. is the turn for did i say juan carlos right okay juan carlos is your turn today 
There you go. Uh, do we have more Juan Carlos or only one Juan Carlos? Sí. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez, right? Palacios Ramirez, sí. Okay, then. Yes. There you are. Okay, guys. Check then. the list, teacher. Oh, yes. The attendance. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There are a lot of, lot of things to do over yes, here. Uh, no, it is not that. <laughs> that is not that. Hey, come on. Not don't, not don't be so mean. <laughs> okay. I have. Uh, no, 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 okay. no, no. I love to be teaching, so don't worry. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Alexis, are you there? Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. It's very melodic, this name. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Yeah, it's like something like, a, like music, melody. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Um, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Jonathan, Ernest, okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Do you know Jose Atilio? Alguien aquí conoce a Jose Atilio? Yes, teacher. I told about this class tomorrow with him. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. He's okay. coming tomorrow. Okay. I think. Okay, let's hope. Uh, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Okay. Karina Noemi Alvarez Mejia. Present. Um, Carla Veronica Suria Lopez. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Okay, Luis Roberto Mejia Menéndez. Luis Roberto, do you know Luis Roberto? No, no, no está. Okay, he's not here. Yeah, I know that he's Yo not no here. But... Ahora. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but please tell him that we miss him here, okay? And he needs to come to, um, to be present. And let's see, Maria Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. No, Nancy. Present. Sí, con el niño. Oh, okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo. I'm Flores. here, teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Wendy, are you there? No, Wendy? No. Auri Elena Segovia Rugama. Present teacher, Wendy. Ah, uh, okay. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. No, Auri. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Okay. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Is present. Okay, Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present. Okay, there you are. See, yes, you are. Sí, es cierto, ustedes son los tres últimos chicos. Voy a preguntar eso, right. okay? Voy a preguntar yeah. eso. Okay, okay. Uh, um, Auri, thanks. he is for her teacher. Uh, I'm sorry? Auri, in for her. Auri. Está, está un poquito mal de salud, por eso no se conectó. Oh, oh, oh ok. Uh, she's in poor health, ok. El, el esposo. Oh, el ok. El representante legal. Oh, ok, ok. El apoderado, right? Yes. Good. Very good. Ok, but tell her, please. Uh, we hope she gets well soon. Ok. And she can uh, uh, come back. Ok. She can come back to class. I'm trying to use the words that you can get at the first time. Okay, let's see. Who did I say who was uh, Palacios, right? 
Mr. Palacios. Are you ready, Mr. Palacios? Yes. Yes. Okay, there you are. Okay, guys, time is over, class is over. So let's meet us tomorrow. Please do your homework in the platform. Don't forget. Okay. okay. And bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Take care. Take care. Okay, take care. You too. Bye. Okay, there you are, Juan Carlos. Do you have any question? Eh, por el momento no, teacher. Como okay. Es primera clase, pero, pero igual, mm -hmm. eh, disculparme porque eh, no pude entrar desde el inicio, pero okay, me, costó yeah. un po me costó un poquito eh, como encarrilarme en lo que estaba, pero, pero sí le entendí al final que okay. estaba hablando sobre las actividades. Yes, regular activities. Actualmente. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. Eh, lo que me cuesta, teacher, eh, es un poco, eh, y no sé, tal vez me puede orientar, eh, es este, como decirle, eh, el, el profesor anterior eh, como que nos iba como más así como traduciendo al español, ¿verdad? Oh. Y, eh, <ríe> sí, no, 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 no y, y, y me cuesta un poco asimilar, ¿verdad? Algunas, algunas palabras, pero y, eh, igual en la, en la pronunciación, no sé qué me podría recomendar este, para poder este, ambientarme más, porque sí siento que okay. me cuesta un poco. Ok, la primera cosa, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is no Spanish. No, no Spanish, Spanish, yes, because if you start uh, translating, then you are going to get used to it. Te va, se va a acostumbrar a la explicación en español. Even okay. though that you need to assimilate, you need to, um, we could say this, hear, hear, listening, okay, listening. What are you going to do when you, when you um, listen? Check the main idea, check or take the main idea. Tome la idea principal, take the main idea. What are we talking about? Simple present. Okay, simple present. What is simple present? Uh, then you say things that we do every day. Ah, every day, right? Simple present, every day, related. Entonces, si usted relaciona, relaciona ideas principales, va a llegar el momento en que las ideas que están alrededor van a tener sentido. Okay. Okay. Si usted toma la idea principal, la idea principal normalmente el maestro le va a decir, the teacher is going to tell you the topic, ¿ok? El topic o el tema. Media vez, usted mire cuál es el tema, centrese en eso, focus, focus your mind in that, and then you are going to comprehend the secondary uh, ideas, ¿ok? But first of all, okay. forget about Spanish when you connect. Forget about Spanish. No Spanish. No lo traduzca. Try to define. Try to define. Trate de des definirlo. If you don't know what does it mean in Spanish, then I'm going to tell you, for example, uh, how do you say this in English? How do you say, uh, it's a square thing, it's black, and you use it for Spanish. For, for making a call, uh, then you say a phone, right? O sea, en lugar de decir teléfono en Spanish, then empiezo a describir qué hago o qué, para qué lo uso. O el vocabulario que yo ya conozco sobre el teléfono, ¿verdad? Calls, call, call. ¿Se acuerda? Y, y, no es por, y no es por molestar, ¿verdad? Pero ¿recuerda la película de E.T.? Ok. Yeah, sí. E.T. Yes. no entendía el inglés, ¿verdad? ¿Y ti qué entendía? ¿O oh, qué podía decir? E.T. Phone, home, main ideas. Solo ideas principales. Right? So, lo demás se va uniendo a medida que lo voy practicando. Okay? 
a medida que voy practicando. Entonces, ahorita no se abrume, no se no sienta que, ah, qué, qué difícil, ay, no, esta teacher solo inglés quiere hablar. Yes, because it's an English class. <laughs> sí, sí, no, no, okay. entiendo. Ok, sí, that is y de, 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 de hecho, así me habían dicho de que no, no, no tratara de traducir todo literalmente por... Uh -huh. no, como que no, no es igual, ¿verdad? It Todo doesn't make sigue. sense. It doesn't make Liter sense. Okay. No le hace sentido. It doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. Sometimes you could say, oh, yes, that's this and this and that. But then you're going to say, for example, es como en español. Usted le dice a una persona nativa de inglés que, que solo habla inglés, le dice el verbo echar, for example. El verbo echar, ah, bueno, él dice, lo voy a echar en la taza, right? No, lo voy a echar en el, eh, lo estoy sacando, ¿verdad? Echar, ah. meter y echar, sacar. Uh, then they're going to say, then echar no significa lo mismo, right? It doesn't uh, have the same meaning. So it's the same, it's the same in English. There are some words like don't or doesn't that sometimes uh they are not in the same position in the sentence and then you are going to get confused so you have to take the main ideas main ideas main ideas every time main idea and then you are going to add some more vocabulary pero lo mejor es que empiece a usar el vocabulario que el teacher le da entonces okay. yo le mandé por ejemplo ahorita todas las actividades en el vocabulario ¿verdad? actividades trate during the day yeah during the day i answer the phone i call clients i um turn on the computer right and then those are main ideas only main ideas then you are going to add that vocabulary to a sentence and that's that will be the the, the best way for me it works it works okay okay Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Sí. You're welcome. Um, sí. Ben, uh, is there anything else that I can help you with? ¿Alguna cosa eh, que más que le pueda ayudar? Ahorita, de momento, le siento que él sí le entendí bastante la, la clase. Okay, very good. Sí. Very sí. good. Then let's meet us tomorrow, right? Okay. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Good night, Juan Carlos. Have a, have a good rest. Okay. Okay. Night night. Bye. Bye 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 bye.